Hey, welcome back. Have you seen the latest Spider-Man movie or Marvel film? I did see the Spider, yeah, the new Spider Verse. Spider Verse, into the Spider Verse. And I got a, a Lego here. Anyway, listen up. <laughs> if you are new to Hugh, this one is for the comic lovers. Justine Latimer is with us. She's going to tell you more about Bedrock City Comics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this was a place I was excited to visit, right? A viewer reached out to me on social media and said, Bedrock City Comics should be my next stop for the New to He series. So I stopped by the location in the Galleria area to learn why comic lovers call it their second home. Anything that you kind of grew up with as a child, this is kind of that place to kind of have that nostalgia hit for you. If you're like, oh, I remember having that growing up. At Bedrock City Comics, you'll find everything pop culture related, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and more. They're looking for classic comics, if they're looking for new comic books, if they're looking for graphic novels. Um, we even have like a science fiction pulp magazines as well, which is not the sort of thing that you can really find in very many stores. Here, there's something for everyone. It's the reason customers like Sean keep coming back. Sometimes my parents have to say like, oh, don't co come like every single day. Beyond comics, these statues may send you back in time. It's the sort of place that you can very easily, you know, find yourself just meaning to stop in and next thing you know, you know, you've been here for a little bit longer than maybe you had intended to. Excuse me. Bedrock City Comics opened back in 1990 and today there are a total of six locations, including this one located on Westheimer. But it isn't the action packed stories on the shelves that keep business flowing seven days a week. If you just want to come in and talk about the most recent Spider-Man movie, as long as there's no spoilers about, we'll sit here and talk to you about it. And if you can't get enough of comics and cosplay, the first Bedrock City Comic Con will be held in October at the Stafford Center. Hey, all right. So fun. Gives Thanks me enough time to put these, this for our event a, Yeah. Our producer Frank has Frank, helped it's all, with the it's, props. Frank got us some great props. I feel like I'm back at Bedrock City Comics right now. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely taps into your like kid yes. um, mm -hmm. and your nostalgia in yeah, yeah. a child. Like, yeah. You're over here playing and like I want to open up this box of, <laughs> of Star Wars. All the toys. <laughs> Lego, play. And that, that was one thing they said when I went there. They were like, if you're not into comics, it doesn't matter. You'll walk in and you'll remember something oh, from your childhood, that. something you watch. Yeah. Just, just anything and I actually did I was like oh I remember that from yes. the 90s uh -huh. <laughs> it's a good back. experience yeah. oh yeah. I love it Justina mm -hmm. can't Thanks wait to see that. the next stop yes. Yes. me too yes. <laughs>